The grind doesn't stop for the Paytons. They just continue to sign people on the Denver Broncos. And biggest name since we've talked last, Samaj P. Ryan coming to town. Two years, seven and a half million dollars with an additional bonus of a million dollars to potentially earn while in Denver. And Samaj P. Ryan, big boy, 240 pound running back. I'm giving this grade a uh, B minus. I'm kind of wait and see mode here. If this is their big running back move of the offseason, I don't like it because Samaje can do everything, but I don't think he can do everything as the number one running back. If he's complimented by someone else who can take a lot of that weight off his shoulders, no pun intended, he will be okay, be a good signing. So B minus. I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B, and I think I might be giving him a little bit too good of a grade because it's such a big need there. But he belongs in the NFL. He's a real NFL back, and that's something that the Broncos just don't have on their roster, at least healthy. Uh, third down guy, great blocker, can give you three, four, five yards on every single run. Bell cow back in a win over the Chiefs, which maybe we like to see here. Um, good back, but you need to add more. Another real football player that the Broncos signed, fullback Mike. Burton from the Kansas City Chiefs won a Super Bowl with them. Now he's here to help break the 15-game losing streak against the Chiefs. Another big guy in the backfield showing that Sean Payton is going to run the damn ball this year. I like this one. I'm going B-plus because he is a real fullback. A-plus to me. I mean, it's a, it's a very small number, and you filled your need at fullback. I can't really tell you whether he's an average fullback, good fullback. There's only like five of these guys left in the league anyway. You got one of them. A-plus to me. And the last signing, Tremont Smith, cornerback, going to be a depth cornerback, and then also a returner. Now, he's a kick returner, so he's going to provide competition with Montre Washington there. I'm going a B on this one. If you sign a guy for almost $3 million a season, he better be a really good returner. So, again, wait and see mode, but I like that they're bringing in competition at returner. I'll give it a B minus. Uh, it's not a terrible deal. Um, you're mostly signing him to be a returner, but you are probably signing him to be your third cornerback behind Pat Sertan and Damari Mathis with K1 slot doing the slot stuff, but that's different. I'm not sure that he's the guy would have chosen for that job, and who knows? Maybe they bring in somebody else to, to bump him down to the fourth cornerback, but at that point, you might be overpaying anyway. B minus, again, fill the need, good player. Uh, maybe he could have found somebody else. Darius Slay, CJ Gardner-Johnson. Maybe we're breaking down those signings tomorrow. Stay tuned, DNVR.